Shalom, y'all, Sharala. I'm going to start off by giving infinite honors to Yahweh Y. Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and greetings and salutation to your sincere brothers pushing this truth across the four winds. I'm going to do this sit down um, about our great power and how he deal with the children of men and how he deal with his precious elect, man. Uh, he put us in through fire to purify us and that, and that fire be a lot of tests a lot of persecution, a lot of tribulation. I mean, sometimes even amongst the brotherhood, the, the most high, I let a foul spirit get in there to see how the brothers are gonna react with, 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 with each one and see how if they're gonna do things according to the scriptures. So with that saying, basically, man, this, this life as ours is one big test for the precious elect, man, with Jacob's trouble being the ultimate test. And Romans 15 and 4 say everything is done was done was done for our learning. And we gotta learn from the prophets, apostles, priests, and men of old, uh, how they dealt with controversy, how they dealt when the most high stripped everything from them, how they how they handled women. You see what I'm saying? All these um words that the most high put in their mouths, man, we gotta learn from it, man. We gotta pass these tests, man. All right, we gotta go like that um that parable in the um, book of Ezra. You got tempest on one side and you got fire on the other side, and you gotta go through that narrow path. And the narrow path to get to the wide, I mean, that narrow path is just a bunch of tests. So let me start. I'm gonna start off in Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. All right, I'm gonna start at verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh. Keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right? For, for the most high will bring every work in the judgment, and with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So the most high, when he deal with the children of men, he's going to test the good and the wicked. He's going to test everybody. All right? And like uh, the book of Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians say some some people are gonna be hair and stubble and some people are gonna be silver and gold. When fire hits them, they're gonna get better and better. All right, let's start off in um, this is Revelation third chapter, I need the tenth verse. All right, all right, this is Revelation three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patient, I will also keep them from the hour of temptation which shall become on all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth now he's talking to his precious elect all right and he said he's going to keep them away away from the hour of temptation but he said he's coming to try them to dwell on the earth all right the precious elect a lot of us won't taste death and the most high is going to have us comforted but you got to have it in its proper context during jacob's trouble is going to be our ultimate test in fact, I think I got my blue letter open. Let me go to that. It should already be there. Revelation 3, we go to verse 10. Let's see what that word try me. Okay. It's the Greek word parasio. Strong's G, 3985. Parazzo. 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 All right. Let's see what it means to, to try. To attempt and endeavor to try a thing can be done. To try, make trial. Yeah. To test for the person, per, for the purpose of asserting his quality or what he thinks or how he would behave himself. That's what he do. The most high put us in certain trials and certain straits to see how we're going to deal with it okay in a good sense all right in a bad sense that those are the ones that revelation 3 is talking about he's going to do it in a bad sense to test one maliciously craftily to put to put to proof his feelings or judgments because when he judge when he do it he's going to already be the test of their ass and he's going to know they're the two-thirds that's when he's going to be justified in killing their ass and making them suffer um, beating their ass with sore strokes alright uh, C to try or test one's faith that's for us the, the whole for elect virtue character by enticement to sin 
David fell. That was a test for David when he fell for Bathsheba. But the creation is subject to vanity. You uh, you pray, you fast, you ask for repentance, you pick up your cross and you keep running. The sons, of, the precious elect fall to li to solicit to sin, to tempt. That's what we put on this earth for. Of the temptations of the devil, Yahweh was tempted of the devil. He was tested. All right, the devil was dumb trying to offer him something that was already promised to him. He was act offering him the kings of the earth when the Most High offered him the solar system uh, bigger than just this planet. He, The Most High put every all of creation under his feet. So Satan was, he, he was kind of an idiot for that one, you know? <laughs> After the Old Testament uses of the Most High to inflict evils on one in order to prove his character and the steadfastness of his faith. This is what we're going through, and Jacob's trouble going to be the open, uh, that the ultimate test. But right now, uh, while the rivers of water, living water are running, and uh, this truth is still going forth, and the family of the word hasn't come in, well, the way we deal with our brotherhood, the way we deal with certain scenarios in his life, is a test. All right. All right. Uh, let me get another precept. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2, Deuteronomy 8 and 2, and, and, the, and thou shall remember, it's every fucking time, man, damn, it's a fucking Satan. All right, Deuteronomy 8 and 2. And thou shalt remember all that the which Salakia. Deuteronomy 8 and 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Most High thy power led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee, to prove thee, to know what was in thy mind, in thy heart. Okay? When they was going around Mount Sinai in ancient time past, and that was us, that was the most high testing us, okay? That was our ancestors, because the elect, the ones that made it across the river, though they was, he was testing them, and they failed every fucking test, whether thou would keep his commandments or no, all right? That's how the most high deal with the children of men, the children of Yasharala. He, he, he has Satan and those demons there to see how we're going to react with temptation, man. Okay? That's the way of the Most High. We are here to learn the ways of the Most High. Let me get uh, Psalms 11, verse 4. All right? Yahweh is in his temple, in his holy temple. Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Yahweh tries the righteous. He tries the righteous. He tries us, the, the hopeful elect, man. That's why you always have the eyes of the Lord a, a thousand times brighter than the sun. He has his angels beholding us, seeing what we do day in and day out. That's why the scriptures say you will be judged for every word, every tittle that comes from your mouth. You're going to be judged, man. That's why we have to be circumspect, aware of our surroundings but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hate of alright let me get that let me go to the blue letter for Psalms Psalms 11 and 4 let's see what it says for Psalms 11 and 4 in the Hebrew Okay. Psalms 11 and 4. I'm looking for that word try. Here we go. Wait, let, let's see how you pronounce Strong's it. Psalms H974. Bahan. 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 All right. To examine, try, prove. Examine, scrutinize. Okay. To test, prove, try of gold. All right, and that's that's the metaphor. 
Gold is tested and gold is purified for its purity, okay? When gold is pulled out the ground, it have a lot of impurities and it have a lot of dirt and other, uh, all it had, it, sometimes it have zinc and all the elements uh, that's in the ground, it'll be in the gold. So you have to put gold to the fire to purify it to make sure it's 100%, 99.99999% gold, man. Persons, the heart, and the heart is your mind. Most high tests our mind, man, to see if we're men of the Lord. To make trial. Okay? And that's what we're going through, man. This side right here is a big test. All right? Then we're going to go into the wide, man, to the to the next phase. All right? East is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning that started. So the next phase is another, an, another uh, aspect of uh, after this test, man. This is a big test we running, man. All right? Let me get another precept on. Um, the book of Jeremiah. Where that brother at? Jeremiah was the no nonsense prophet. Get the, Jeremiah used to get the business club straight to the point. He hated niggas, boy. No, I need 17. I need the 17 chapter. 10 verse. Here we go. This the banger right here. Jeremiah 17 and 10. I, Yahweh, search the mind. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways. So the Most High, when he he bring, he put, he put slammed down that hammer and give you your judgment, he has tested you to see how your mind works, all right? Because sometimes, like the book of Sirach say, the, the tongue slippeth and the person don't mean it. But the Most High gets the business clear. He going to test you to see if you're a man of the Lord. Yeah, we all fall. Righteous man falls seven times. But even in your falling, that don't mean you a wicked nigga. You know, the, 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 the creature is subject to vanity. When the Most, most High slam down that hammer, he, he going to make sure you a wicked nigga. All right. And according to the fruit of his doings, he going to test you and judge you according to how you react. To you, uh, to the temptation that is brought before you, man. If you're gonna keep your integrity, and one of the ways he teaches is how we deal with other brothers, bro. When you deal with other brother, that's lethal. The way you deal with other brother is lethal and violent with the Most High, cause he hold that in high regard. All right. Uh, oh, let me. I'm gonna leave off with this scripture. Um. The book of Job, Salaki. Because he tested no other like that brother Job. That brother there, and he kept his integrity. This is Job 1 and 5. And it was so when the days. Hold up. Let me get Job. I thought it was the fifth verse. I thought it was Job 1 and 5 where it said, have you considered my son Job? All right, here we go. All right, I need verse 6. All right. Job 1 and 6. Now, that, now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also among men. Among uh, also among them, Salakia. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence, whence comest thou? And Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down it. That's what Yahweh created Satan for, to test the hearts of men, to tempt the hearts of men. That's, that's Satan's lot. All right? Satan is obedient to Yahweh. He don't come against Yahweh. He's doing what he was created for. To appease the wrath for him that created him. All right? Heavenly, heavenly, the heavenly hosts are obedient powers. Verse 8. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Has thou considered my son Job? My servant Job? All right? See, so the Most High put Satan on Job. All right? The Most High made 
uh, Satan tests Job. And Job is back in his life in this day, and I would then time according to um Job the 19th chapter. All right. So uh with that being said, how Job got things done a, a four times done for our learning, how Job got tested, we gonna get tested the same way. And his testing was rigorous. All right. That there is none like him on the earth, a perfect and up, upright man. The most high gonna see if we perfect and upright. The Most High going to see one that fear of the Most High. He's going to see, do we really fear him and extrude evil? He's going he's gonna to test us to know that we extrude, extrudeth evil. Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, do a judge fear the Most High or no? Has not, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hand, and his substance is increased in the land. All right? Jacob's trouble, man. We're not going to have no substance. All right? Our only thing we're going to have is each other and faith in Yahweh Shai. And it's impossible to please the Most High without faith. That's all we're going to have. We're going gonna, gonna, gonna to see who the men of faith is. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he have, and he would curse thee to thy face. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Behold, all that he have is in thy power. See, the Most High give them demons uh, the power to come wreak havoc in our lives, man. Make your baby mama uh, go fuck your boy. Make your family turn against you. All right? Uh, he just make you lose your job. Make you get on child support. That comes with the territory. The Lord want to see how you're going to call out to him like King David did and just put your trust in him like King David did. King David was another one that handled uh, tribulation and handled persecution and everything that came against him. He handled it good. He handled it good. Okay. Only upon itself, but put forth not thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. All right. And that's what's going to happen to us. Like like in verse 13, and then the day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine at their at their older son's house, there came a messenger Job and saying the oxen were plying and the ass was feeding beside him and the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. And they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I only escaped. You know, it's going to have things like that happen. Your family might get killed or you might be. On one side of town, your family might be on the other side of town. Are you going to take heed to the word and don't go back for him? Don't go back for your cloak? Are you going to, you just going to keep to the wilderness? You're going to get the fuck and be like, whatever I lose, the most high is going to return to me a hundredfold. We're going to be put in all type of scenarios, man. You might even have to, like I, put, I bought out in my last sit down. You might have to kill one of your children to uh, show your faith, man. Or look at look at one of your children die and, and, and keep going. You got to know whatever you have to prepare for the worst, man. You have to prepare for the worst. When you read these scriptures, some unspeakable things happen to the men of the Lord, man. Okay, uh, Jeremiah was thrown in a pit. Daniel was thrown in Shadrach, Meshach, where they were thrown in the fire, but they kept their integrity. They didn't curse the Most High. They might have been like, heaven fought away, you at me, or have you forsaken me? They were still calling on Yahweh by Shema was shy. Yahweh was on the cross. He just said, Father, Father, have you forsaken me? You know? He is still calling on him. Where are you, Father? He didn't start asking Rome to have mercy on me or, 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 or say he wouldn't. All he had to do to not get killed was say he wasn't the son of God and admit he, and not admit, but just say he blasphemed and he, he was a false prophet. They would have let him live. But no, he kept his integrity. So with that being said, I want to get on infinite, infinite honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and greetings and salutation and honor to you sincere brothers pushing this truth. Uh, Shalom, Kwam, Yasharabah.